Do your athletes struggle with anxiety before a game? Did you know most thoughts that cause anxiety, they're described as irrational? Anxiety can be serious, or it could just be a case of butterflies before a game. If it is unusual or irrational thought, it could be a symptom of chronic or severe anxiety. Different types of anxiety cause different types of irrational thinking. Research shows that about 30% of women and 25% of men who are student athletes struggle with anxiety at some point in time. I am Dr. Delise Coffey. I'm a psychologist and a mental game coach. As a psychologist, I help my athletes restore their mental health. And this is so important today because of all the things this generation must deal with. As a mental game coach, I teach them strategies and give them tools to get their mind and body in sync so they can have their best game more often than not. I've been working with basketball players from junior high to semi-professional for over 25 years. And I've seen athletes with butterflies. I've seen athletes with depression and anxiety. And it's very different, and it affects them differently on the court. Today, I will share with you five questions you can give your athletes to see if their thinking is blocked by irrational belief and is hindering their performance. We've all been there, in that dark corner of our mind, where our thoughts battle against our beliefs in an attempt to mold our responses to get an immediate response to the situation that we find ourselves in. The way we choose to engage in our ability to manage our beliefs, it will directly impact and determine the outcome of that situation. According to sports psychologists, all athletes enter this world with the potential to generate rational and irrational thoughts. Negative beliefs of thoughts prevent some of the athletes from achieving their dreams. These negative beliefs, the self-labels, the irrational thoughts, they can be overwhelming to the athletes and they can hinder their performance before the game even starts. Irrational beliefs can be defined as anything that's unreasonable, rigid, unhealthy, or maladaptive convictions that are self-defeating and it gets in the way of the athletes' efforts to achieve their goals. Irrational beliefs, they're typically characterized by demands and the must and the should. This type of thinking can negatively affect the athletes and it can destroy their confidence. By holding on to these irrational beliefs and these unrealistic expectations, the perfectionistic ideas, the overgeneralization, the negative self-label, all of those things, the athlete will end up believing these ideas and these things will prevent them from performing to their full potential. Here are the five questions I said I would share with you to help your athletes and to see if their thinking is blocked by negative beliefs. Have them ask themselves the following questions. Number one, am I going in circles trying to resolve this problem or this situation? Number two, am I burdened by fears of what I think might be? Number three, do I know what the situation is, but I become paralyzed with the implementation? And number four, do I find myself using a lot of yes buts? And number five, do I find myself procrastinating and diverting my attention to other things, ignoring things, or running away from the problems? Have your athletes ask themselves those questions. And be honest with themselves because we want to be more preventative. We want to prevent chronic or serious anxiety with our athletes. If they want to engage with me on live and actively, have them join DC Mental Trainer Gym. The link is above or below me. And I want you to remember that physical is just part of it. And mental, that's the heart of it.